Hello everybody and welcome back to uh, Taurus Media's tutorials once again. Um, I got a request from a friend here um, because some days earlier I created this um, monkey here, I call him Freddy. Um, my tutorial here is based on this article by uh, Photoshop Buddy um, on how to create a, a monkey um, uh, monkey smile icon. Only problem here, as you can see uh, here, is that uh, the pictures don't exist anymore. So I had uh, basically I had to find my own way to make this monkey here, and I'm gonna show you how I did it. It uh, it's not advanced uh, in any way, but uh, it takes time. So let's just uh, get on with it. Okay. Just a little. There we go. And we are off. We are going to start off by creating uh, whoops, creating um, the head of the monkey by uh, making a little circle here in black. To make this circle, as you can see now, it's quite distorted. Uh, to make it, uh, uh, what's it called? Rectangular? No, I'm not sure. Anyways, just hold shift and uh, you see that the shape is uh, exactly round. Anyway, I pull it down. So there we go. There we have the head of the monkey. Uh, now we're going to go into blending options on a layer. You right click on the layer and go blending options. And we're going to choose a gradation overlay. See the effect that we have in the background here. There, um, and we're going to choose here by style, radio, and we we reverse the colors and the scale should be up to about this. So, approximately. Then you have this little um, shiny effect. Oh. exactly him I'm making this tutorial for. Okay, and we choose a new layer. Uh, as I have shown you in the other lessons or tutorials, we select the layer by holding down control and clicking on the layer. See we have the selection around here now. In the new layer we're going to go to gradation tool and we're going to choose the color white. And as you see up here I have uh, a special gradation here that gradates from white to transparent. So uh, it's it's actually one of the basic presets number two here. So yeah, just choose that, and we're gonna gradate from the top here of the monkey. Mm -hmm. Just click, and as I shown you before, holding shift. This will form a straight line. Now I'm not holding. Now I'm holding. You see, and to about there, and we deselect. Okay, there we have a very nice and glossy head on the monkey. And we're going to filter blur. I'm just going to test here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we go to filter blur and. Gesheln blur. I don't know how to pronounce it. And we choose about here yeah, so that you get this effect that we have right here. Uh, in my in my example here, I chose about 10 pixels and hit OK. Oh, fucking Amazon. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now we're gonna make the face of the monkey. I'm gonna choose a skin color here. See there, a little pink, pink lilish. There we go, and we create a head, sort of like this. You see my uh, pink lines here. They help me uh, get the object in the center. So it's look, uh, it's looking a little bit different. There we go. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, let's let's try with that shape. Uh, as always, you have to use your own uh, imagination and technique. So just play around with it. And we are going to blending options on this layer. Going to set on a stroke, one pixel stroke, with a darker pink that we already used, like. So maybe, yeah. Oh, this. So I just moved this uh, effect layer over, or uh, over the uh, eyes layer, if you can call it that, uh, to get more effect. We are actually gonna turn down the opacity here, like that. Okay. It's going a little uh, faster, but keep up. Now we're going to create the eyes, we're going to select a blue color, a new circle. As I said, the technique here is not so difficult, it's just time consuming. So we're going to make a circle here, mm, place it about there, and we need another eye on the other side. There you go. A monkey has eyes, sort of. Oh, damn. Yeah. And put uh, gloss on top. There we go. Um, by hitting control here, we are now selected the eyes. We want to select, modify, and contract. Let's see with uh, five pixels here. Yeah, that sound uh, looks cool. Yeah, and we create a new layer and we fill it with black, and we deselect, and we do the same with the other layer. Select, contract, five pixels, and fill. There you go. There, our monkey has. Eyes. We also want to gloss out his eye uh, eyeballs here, so we're going into blending options on the eyes, and we choose the bevel and emboss. Emboss. Ah, oh, I'm crappy at these names. Yeah, and we're gonna choose a little lighter color here. So. And we pick up the size here, and we turn down the depth, depth, and we just copy this, copy this layer style. If you, uh, if you think I'm going too fast, uh, it's because it, it's a lot to do to make it real, real um, nice. So uh, you just have to pause the. Pause the movie or whatever you gotta do to keep up and just see what I've done. Okay, there he has some eyes now. Now we're gonna create uh, his face. We're gonna choose our uh, ellipse tool once again. Choose sort of a skin color and we're gonna create a circle. I'm gonna move it on top so that we see it. There you go. Okay, I can now already see that this monkey is not gonna be pretty <laughs> because of the speed I'm using. Going a bit fast here. Mm, center it. Pink, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 